Hi everybody. This is my first video tutorial and I thought I'd kick it off this new trend with a uh, tutorial on backbone.js. Uh, more specifically, we'll just be talking about models right this time. Uh, models in the MVC pattern are the meat and potatoes of the system. They contain the data and all the functions and logic that gets applied to that data. Uh, the first thing we need to do is include underscore which is Backbone's only dependency and Backbone itself. I'm just pulling them off of their GitHub download pages. Alright, so let's get started with a very basic model. First of all, everything is contained within the Backbone namespace and then for models, it's under model. And let me ex use extend to create a model. Now it sends in an object literal. Uh, the object literal has a few things in it. Uh, the most important one is initialize. Initialize will be your constructor for the person. Alright, now we just get to create one it's the same way we do normal object. Let's see what happens. Oh, there it is. Hello world. So we know that's working. So, uh, next thing we need to be able to do is send in attributes. So to set um, properties in the model. So we can do this just by sending in a object literal into the constructor even though our constructor doesn't take any parameters. And that's all we need to do. Is And then we can create Set more. And you can just send in wh however many you want to do. Um, next thing we want to be able to do is to get the attributes that have been set. So all we have to do for that, which we'll log them, is person dot get and then we type in the name of the property and we'll see if that worked there it is okay so now we want to be able to set up default at, uh, attributes inside the model itself. So for that we just use defaults and we'll give that an object literal. all we need so what we'll do then is we'll create one without any attributes being sent in to test it out and there it is Bob Hope so all right so what's next next we need to be able to manipulate them um, so we'll use set instead of get. We'll oh, just leave that there. We can use this syntax if we're just setting one. I hate my inconsistency with quotes. I'll we'll check that out. There's Joe again. Good. And this 
then we could also do it with an object literal to set multiple attributes. Which is pretty much the exact same thing as putting it into the constructor. And we can get person dot uh, oh, get So six feet. Now that's all good, but we need to be able to do something about when the model changes. So we can listen to changes in the models. So inside the constructor, we'll just set up a listener there. Normally, you wouldn't set up the listeners inside the model. You would set it up inside a view or some somewhere else. So when we listen for changes, we use change, and then we'll use name again. It's a special namespacing thing that Backbone has, and we just send in a function for it. And we'll just do console do this dot name. No, oh, we need to do get. Sorry about that, guys. Get name. And so we can get rid of this. And I'll put it anyway, because it came up in here. If you want to see something else, it's now value. So we can more clearly see it. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's what makes or this binding makes it really useful because anytime a change happens to the model, you can automatically update the view. Um, so that's pretty nice now. We also need to be able to validate the data that we're setting it to. So for that, we throw in a validate function. Oops. And that one gets attributes. I'll just send in a the, all of the attributes that are currently on the model um, and have them set to the new values that were set. So we can just do attributes dot name. Oh uh, wait, we should use if name equals equals. Joe will return an error message. Now, for validate, if you don't return anything at all, it'll assume it's true. If you do return something, it'll automatically assume that the there was an error in the validation. So all you need to do is return a string and that will generally be your error message. All right, so that's where it all work. Now we need we should bind to an error so that if something happens or if there is an error, 
we should do something about it. It's just error, right? Yep. Now for the error binding, we get sent the model itself, and we get the error. We'll just console dot log the error. Well, I'm sick of typing. And we'll see what happens. And it showed the error. It did not show what we had for binding to the change because it doesn't actually fully change it because it didn't validate. And the last fun thing that we can learn about is getting all of the attributes. We'll just log it right away. We'll use person dot to JSON. That's the object literal. Okay. Height, name. Apparently, he's got the prototype too. Now, this isn't the only way to get it. We can also use the attributes attribute, and that'll get, return the same thing. The only thing is, this is writable. You can make changes to this, which is why you would normally use that to JSON because you don't want it to be or give someone access to changing it. You sh should be using the set method to be making changes so that you can take advantage of the listeners. Well, I think that is all we have for us today. I hope to see you guys next time when we'll be going over the views. Alright, happy coding!